This is Jeff again. Uh, I just wanted to hit a quick point on these uh, propane tanks. Um, obviously, this thing's burning, and you can see the tops off. This isn't a full tank. <laughs> so, um, uh, I got to messing with this thing this morning, and on the bottom uh, of these tanks, they have, they have a real thick, um, sort of like a rubberized coating, almost like tar, uh, sort of like a truck bed lining, actually, uh, that is on the bottom of these things. And I took the put the rose bed on the torch and took it to it, and um, just figure, you know, I kind of melt it off, and scrape it off, but. I mean, this stuff's just thick and nasty and noxious. It's just, uh, just stinks, burning my eyes. So uh, I figure I'd put the fire fire pit to use here and do a pre-burn burn on this tank, try to get some of the paint off and whatever that uh, rubberized coating is on the bottom. But just kind of a tip, if you're, if you're using these propane tanks, uh, and, and especially these larger ones, uh, the 100-pound ones like I'm using, um, kind of take note, these things do have a coating, uh, some kind of rubberized coating on the bottom of them. You need to get that stuff off there for you. Uh, you know, you should be burning these things anyways outside at least, you know, three, four or five times or whatever. Um, I'm going to be painting it with high temp paint and, and even that stuff fresh, as a couple other guys has noted, it, it gives off fumes and kind of smokes and you, you need to burn these things outside uh, several times before even thinking about taking them into the house. But uh, especially this, these tanks here uh, has that thick uh, kind of tar coating on the bottom. Um, I'm taking it for rust prevention or corrosion or whatever. Um, but I uh, definitely need to get that stuff off of there. And uh, I figured this would uh, probably be about the best way to do it and melt it all off, get it off, and uh, take everything down to the bare metal. So. Just quick safety tip, that stuff is uh, really nasty stuff, smells bad. I know it is, it can't be good for you breathing it in. So just, uh, again, safety on these things. Thanks.